Hello everyone, welcome to the Merchant Seaman community where men and women are not alone at sea because the Merchant Seaman community is here for he or she. Before I get started, you guys do me a, guys and gals do me a big favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. As I help you guys and gals achieve your goals, I hope that you would help me achieve mine. I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. Today, we'll be talking about what to expect working your first ship entry level as an SA, a steward, steward's assistant. You'll also hear it referred to as a galley utility or messman. So you're going to be asked to stock inventory. So on average, you have 20 to 22 people on a ship. Some ships might have more people, but on average, it'll be 20 to 22 people. So imagine feeding 20 to 22 people three meals a day. That's a lot of food. So whenever the ship gets uh, food stores, which um, stores just means whenever the ship gets supplies. So whenever the ship gets food stores, it's going to be a lot of food. It might be 10 boxes of chicken, 10 bags of rice, 12 boxes of steaks, um, 12 cases of soda. Now, when uh, the ship receives food stores, then um, we call it all hands. So meaning that just about anybody that's available at that time is going to uh, help bring all of the food stores to the storage area. Now, once the food, uh, once everybody helps bring the food to the storage area, then it's going to be uh, your job to essay to put the food where it belongs now the steward who is your supervisor and the chief cook they might help you put away um, the food that came in but ultimately it's your responsibility so you're going to have dry provisions or dry stores you're going to have a meat box you're gonna have a fish box and you're gonna have a vegetable box so the dry storage is nothing more than it's a room with a lot of shelving and that's where they keep all of the food that doesn't necessarily have to be refrigerated so it's gonna be rice it's gonna be um, cereal it's gonna be uh, coffee um, uh, tea bags, uh, grits, um, crackers, yeah, things like that. And then your um, meat box. Your meat box is nothing more than a big uh, walk-in freezer um, with a lot of shelving. And in the meat box, that's where you're going to keep um, all your boxes of uh, chicken, uh, beef, uh, pork then you're gonna have a fish box same thing big walk-in freezer a lot of shelving that's where you're gonna keep all of your fish and seafood products then you have the vegetable box same thing big walk-in freezer a lot of shelving that's where you're gonna keep most of your um, vegetables and fruit now, you might also be asked to help um, prepare the meals. So the steward or uh, the other person in the, the um, galley department, the chief cook, they might say, hey, we're going to be um, making steaks tonight. Go down in the meat box and bring me up four boxes of steak. So, you know, you'll go down and you'll, get them you know what they ask and bring it back up they might say well hey along with those steaks we're gonna be eating uh, 
carrots tonight. So they might say, well, hey, can you uh, slice up some carrots for me? They might also ask you to put out leftovers after every meal. So let's say like after breakfast, let's say if they had leftover pancakes or uh, sausages, then they might say, well, hey, take all the leftover food, you know, uh, wrap it up nicely with some saran wrap and put it out, you know, whatever area they designated for leftover food to be kept. And, you know, somebody else on the ship, if they miss breakfast, then they'll be uh, happy and appreciative that you put out leftovers because, you know, they'll go and, um, you know, have something to eat. And you would do the same thing after lunch and the same thing after dinner. Um, any leftover food, you know, put it on a plate uh, nicely, wrap it up, put it in a designated area. Um, also, you'll be washing dishes. So, yes, you have a dishwasher, but, you know, like I was saying, 22 people on a, on a ship. You know, you can imagine it's a lot of, a lot of dishes um, every day. So you're gonna um, make sure that at all times you have enough clean plates, clean bowls, um, spoons, forks, um, knives. Um, also, where we eat our meals. Um, they call it the galley where we eat our meals. They're going to be um, uh, several tables. And on each one of those tables, you're going to have a basket. And that basket is going to have different condiments. It's going to be ketchup, mustard, uh, mayonnaise, uh, oil, vinegar. So you want to make sure at all times that... Um, you know, there's no empty bottles of ketchup. You know, this everything is stocked up. Everything is filled up. Um, then you want to also make sure that after every meal that, you know, you're wiping down the tables, you know, wiping down um, um, the placemats. Um, yeah, making sure you the floor is uh, swept, uh, making sure the floor is mopped up, clean. Um, making sure there's enough napkins on the table is another thing. Um, yeah, and then, okay, like I said, you'll have several tables with these baskets on them. But you have one side is for the unlicensed merchant seamen, and then you have another side for the licensed merchant seamen. And you go back and watch my previous videos, you know, where we talked about the difference between unlicensed merchant seamen and licensed merchant seamen but anyway yeah so you're gonna have to do all the things that I mentioned about those tables and the baskets and wiping keeping the tables wiped down clean you're gonna have to do that for both sides the unlicensed side and the licensed side um, depending on what ship you're on you're going to be asked to um, clean the licensed merchant seamen's rooms. So you might be asked, you know, to you know vacuum their rooms, um, make their beds, take out the garbage in there, um, and clean their head. Which are, you know, on a ship, the head is what we call the bathroom. You know, so clean the toilet, clean the sink clean the shower um, and yeah and you also might be asked to keep the laundry room clean so same thing you have a laundry room for the unlicensed merchant seaman and you have a laundry room for the licensed merchant seaman and you know the laundry room is just where uh, we have the washers and dryers that's where we wash our clothes at so same thing make sure the deck is swept up it's mopped you might want to make sure there's enough washing powder in there, there's enough um, bottles of bleach in there. Um, yeah, taking out garbage. Yeah, like I said, what you can imagine 
20 to 22 people on a ship, you know, you can accumulate a lot of garbage within a day. So your job will be to uh, take the garbage out. Another one of your responsibilities is um, keeping the linen closet organized and clean. So the linen closet is where you keep um, all of the sheets and the pillowcases. Um, there'll be bars of soap in there, washcloths, things like that. So let's say like, let's say like you, when you join your first ship and you get to the ship, uh, the essay, the steward assistant, he's going to make sure in your room that you have clean sheets, clean towels, um, bars of soap, um, yeah, and, and um, clean washcloths. Yeah, so that um, that linen closet or that um, it's an area where they or a room where they keep all of the sheets and pillowcases. It'll be your job to keep all of the sheets and everything in there. You know, fold it nicely. Everything um, is in its proper place and it's organized. That's another one of your responsibilities um, on the ship. And a lot of you might be thinking, well, man, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to do all of those things, but it's not like a job on land where you have to stay in that position for like a year or two years before you can move up as a, um, SA, you only have to sail in that position for 180 days and then you can go to the coast guard or, um, and take a test and whatever other requirements they have for you uh, to um, upgrade to the next highest position in the galley department. Or if you don't go to the uh, Coast Guard, then, you know, they'll have um, different schools you can go to. And same thing you'll take in that school or... Um, yeah, in that school or that or those classes, they'll give you a Coast Guard approved uh, test that you have to take, and they'll make sure you meet whatever requirements you need when you take uh, take those classes to go to the next position. That's it for this video. You guys be kind to one another. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's continue to grow our small community. Let's help each other out and continue to do your due diligence to see if, you know, becoming a merchant seaman is something for you. Uh, if it is, don't wait for your life to change. Change your life. You guys be blessed. Take care. See you in the next video.